In this video I'm going to show you how to make this pouch and you can put any of your sewing notions in. It's a nice vinyl zipper pouch and you can see what is in your pouch instead of being fully fabric. It is vinyl on the front and it's fabric on the back. Let's run through all the things that you're going to need to make your vinyl zipper pouch. So of course we're going to need a zipper. You need it to be longer than the actual project. So it needs to be longer than 9 inches. I have this zipper that I'm going to use. It's a 16 inch zipper. Then you're going to have these two pieces here. And these measuring at 3 inches by 9 inches across. And basically what I did here was I got my iron and I pressed a quarter of an inch seam in to get rid of my raw edges. And I did that at the top and the bottom. And we fold that up in half so it'll end up looking like that. And you would do that on both of these sections. And then... I have two pieces for our backing piece. I use a different colour on the back. It's up to you, you can use the same one. And these are seven inches by nine inches. And in between them two sections, you're gonna have a piece of batten, like so. Just make sure that everybody is all is all lined up in front and the back and you can cut this to measure exactly the same and that's probably what I'll go ahead and do just cut this little piece of batting so it's the same size as the back and the front of our vinyl zipper pouch now of course we are going to need a piece of vinyl I don't think it shows up so well on here and this is 6 inches by 11 and I will cut it smaller after the fact. And then we will need some binding that goes all the way around our back later on. And I will tell you the measurements to that when we get to the binding section. So let's deal with this first section first. So we have got one of the three inches by nine inches and like i said i have already pressed a quarter of an inch seam and we are going to fold it over like so and we are going to place our vinyl section inside so it goes all the way to the top of this piece so your vinyl goes all the way to the top of this section fold it over and then we are going to stitch along this line here, keeping our vinyl and this cotton piece into place. Now, in order to do that, you can grab some wonder clips right now and you can put these into place so it doesn't move on you. And let's head over to our sewing machine. So this is my sewing machine. I use the Baby Lock Soprano. In the top thread of my sewing machine, I am just going to have a regular white polyester. And these are the settings that I have set on my sewing machine. It's telling me I use the J foot and it's a regular straight stitch. In the sewing needle is a regular Microtex 9014 needle and in my bobbin I have a white thread. You are going to put the cotton piece in along with the vinyl piece stuck inside of this cotton piece and you want to make sure that you are stitching both the front and the back sides and start sewing. Make sure to reverse over them first few stitches with your sewing machine. And then continue sewing all the way down. I'm going 
going to do a quick press at the top here just make sure that you don't press your vinyl because you don't want it to melt we're just pressing down this seam what I'm going to do with this section is just fold it over and I'm going to do a stitch all the way down the opening don't forget at the beginning and the ends you are going to reverse stitch to lock them stitches into place with that piece that we just sewed I am going to sew it on to the zipper and I am going to do it with the folded line not with the opening that we just had so I'm going to sew that on top into place for this part of the video you might want to change over to your zipper foot once your zipper foot is on sew into place The one important thing that I want you to bear in mind when doing this part is making sure that the two match up. So this end needs to line up with this end. And however you feel, you can pin, you can use Wonder Clips, or you could just take it over to the sewing machine. But just make sure that these two stay lined up. Once this is lined up in your sewing machine, you can go ahead and sew all the way down. This is the reverse of the pouch and the, the back is going to be pink and the front is going to be this floral colour and in between the two is some batting. I am going to quickly do some free motion quilting on here in order to wedge both sections down or you could simply use some 505 spray, some adhesive spray but I'm going to do some free motion quilting to keep these two sections together. And once again, we will need to change over our foot and I'm going to put the open toe foot and we use this for free motion quilting. So I'm going to attach this on and then just tighten it up with my screwdriver. And then basically we need to drop these feed dogs. So I'll go to the back of my machine and there's a switch and that then lowers these feed dogs. I'm going to do a very simple meander Now I have the front of my pouch and the back of my pouch all ready to go. The only thing that I need to do now is cut this down so it matches the front and back of my pouch. So the top here is going to be in line with the top here and the bottom I am going to cut into place so it matches the bottom and also at the sides. But what you want to do is you don't want to chop the zipper off. So when you cut this side, make sure that you move this back. We're not quite finished yet with our vinyl pouch. We, what I would recommend you do is sew all the way around, barely a quarter of an inch. Don't do it quite at a quarter of an inch, just barely, like a little bit less than that, all the way around. And then we're going to put the binding on. Change your foot back over to your regular foot and also bring up your feed dogs once you bring the slider over at the back your feed dogs will bounce back up again. The reason I'm getting you to do this is because we don't want to be fine with the binding as well as keeping our pouch all together so if we do them both separately it just helps. I do my binding at two and a quarter inches by the width of the fabric and one strip should be enough. I'm not going to show you how to do a full binding tutorial. You, I will link in the comment down below and some of my binding tutorials where I've gone through this fully and explained it all. 
So I'm going to sew my binding from the front of the pouch and I am going to start sewing at around about here, leaving this excess because you're going to need it. So start around about two and a half inches in from one of the sides. And you kind of start about a quarter of an inch from the end. And then you place the binding up like so and then you flip it back down. There's no difference to doing this quilt binding on a pouch to what it is on a quilt. So like I said, I will link to another one of my videos and you can watch a complete tutorial on how to make binding, how to attach a binding and how to finish it off. I have more than 300 sewing tutorials on my channel now so once you finish watching this please watch another or just check out my sewing channel and see if there's any other videos that takes your fancy I have quilting videos I have pouch videos I have absolutely so many videos if you have a request please leave it in the comments down below Then once you complete, you want to fold over and hand sew to the back. I generally get a load of wonder clips and just sit down and watch something on TV and hand sew this. Now if you go into a quilting retreat or you just want to keep your stuff all handy where you can see it, you can then put all of your wonder clips in here or any other sewing notion that you want to put in a handy dandy vinyl clear pouch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below. Bye bye.